everyone, I'm Donna Downey from Donna Downey Studios and I'm going to be showing you all the versatility that the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft line can do. The first techniques I'm going to be showing you are using the Gelato line from Design Memory Craft. They are in a wide array of colors and I'm going to show you some techniques with water and some techniques without to incorporate into your art projects. The gelato sticks are really, really versatile and you can use them right out of their applicator. But another fun way to get a palette of colors that you're using regularly onto your page is to literally chop a little bit of the gelato off and keep it in a palette and just take a brush to it and apply it to your page. So what you're going to do to do this, and you can see I have all the colors lined up, is that you would take your watercolor and you can take your palette knife, this is knife, this is also by Design Memory Craft, and you can just slice a bit of it right off of the color stick, then put it in your palette. What I like to do is I like to then take a water bottle, just spray all of them, whether I'm using them all or not, and just to get the colors activated. This also keeps for great storage, this is a collapsible box, so you can keep it for later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp an image and I'm going to color in that image just with the colors right off the palette. So I'm going to take a large stamp and instead of stamping it into a regular ink, I'm going to use the pit brush ink. Because it's India ink, it's a permanent ink and allows me to watercolor on top. This is really easy and you can choose any color you want. I am going to go in with the black. And you just take the pit brush and you just grab right over the surface, get your entire image full and then you'll stamp it down onto your surface. Now that I've got my image down, I'm gonna go in with my paintbrush and just pick up that color right off of the gelato piece in there. And then I'm just gonna start to shade in my flower. Alright, as I finish up painting the flower, now I want to put some additional details in there. And I'm going to use the Big Brush Pit Pens for that. So I've got two different shades of red and some green. And I'm just going to go in with the brush right along that line and then use my finger to blend in all those nice shading details. Because this is on a gessoed surface, it allows me that time to blend the permanent ink and it will have a nice dark rich contrast. All right, now as I finish up with the green on the flower itself, I want to add some more details to the background of this. So there's a couple more ways to add some more color to our piece of artwork. And what I've done is I've actually pre-made a bottle of gelato spray. And what this is, is actually small bits of the gelato. You want to make them fine shavings that you cut with a palette knife, put them in the bottle and mix with water. And you can make your own watercolor spray paint. So I'm going to use this with a stencil. So I'm going to take a stencil and I'm just going to put it over the art and spray randomly. I don't really want to compete with the art underneath and I'm just going to spray a fine mist of this around the outside. And you can see how the gelato is just as vibrant as a spray as it is as a stick. So for a bolder effect, I'm going to be using a colored pencil and I am going to go around the edge just to tighten that up and give it a little bit more pop. Now I can also spray this with a little bit of water when we're done, or I can keep it nice and tight. Another really fun way to add bursts of color to your project is to use a dropper. Now these are made by Design Memory Craft, and what you're gonna do is take your gelato Use your palette knife tool again to cut a little bit of it off just by slicing it. Once you've mixed your gelato with water and you've put it in your dropper, then it's really easy to add bursts of color to your work. In this case, we're adding some bright pink. And you can drop it from quite high and just squeeze the dabber and let it drip. Or you can shake it 
and let little spots kind of find their way around your work. 